and told and told to buy the net and told to buy the net the moral of the story the mouse the mouse the mouse to buy the net if birds are free them our moral of the story is unity is strength hi maras kablesh Cat is a hat. Rat is a rat is a bat. Cat, cat. Weird. The cat wears the hat. The rat holds the bat. The cat runs. First the rat. The rat runs. Cat runs. A rat the van, a cat sad. Good evening, my friend. The cat has a hat. The rat has a bat. The cat wears the hat. The rat holds the bat. The the rat runs. The cat runs. The rat is in the van. The rat the The cat is sad. Thank you, Miss. Hey, Miss. I feel not so bad. Cat. The cat is a hat. Mm. The rat is a bat. Mm. <laughs> you are too bad. You are too. This is a hat. Mm. Rat. Rat. Mm. Bat holds. Holds. Holds the bat. Holds the bat. <coughs> Good evening, Miss. Hmm. The rat runs. Hmm. The cat runs. Hmm. Rat is in the van. Hmm. The cat is sad. Very good.
मम नाम कौस्तु भेड़े अहम इदानी काख कथा पठिष्या उपासी काकह एक उपासी आसी पर जलम न धन्यवाद My name is Arjun. I am studying in third standard in ONGC Public School. Shruti Shruti Ruchi Ramala Shadha Shastra Sutra Mula Rishi Vaya Chintaniya Sura Bharati Sura Mnya These links describe about a language. A language that reflects the delightful sounds of vedas a language of hundreds of scriptures and sutras a language that is enchanted by rishis a la- the eternal language the originated and oriented in the lap of bharat the language that is so rich in colors and culture the language so grammatically perfect this language is called sanskrit the literal meaning is that is to find today the significance of this language is increasing many universities and schools all over the world started to teach this language this language is used in in the field of computer programming coding decoding artificial intelligence space communication etc so i am concluding here with a note let's pray the beauty of sanskrit to innovation then you are the उदीर्ण सर्वतः चक्षुरनीश शाश्वत स्थिरः 
ಭೂಷಯೋ ಭೂಷಣೋ ಭೂತಿರ್ವಿಶೋಕ ಶೋಕನಾಶನ ಅರ್ಚಿಷ್ಮಾನರ್ಚಿತ ಕುಂಭೋ ವಿಶುದ್ಧಾತ್ಮ ವಿಶೋಧನ ವನಮಾಲೀ ಗದೀಶಾಂಗೀ ಶಂಖೀ ಚಕ್ರೀ ಚ ನಂದಕೀ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ವಿಷ್ಣುರ್ವಾಸುದೇವೋ ಭಿರಕ್ಷತು ವನಮಾಲೀ ಗದೀಶಾಂಗೀ ಶಂಖೀ ಚಕ್ರೀ ಚ ನಂದಕೀ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ವಿಷ್ಣುರ್ವಾಸುದೇವೋ ಭಿರಕ್ಷತು ಈಶ್ವರ ಉವಾಚ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ರಾಮ ರಾಮೇತಿ ರಮೇ ರಾಮೇ ಮನೋರಮೇ ಸಹಸ್ರನಾಮ ತತ್ತುಲ್ಯಂ ರಾಮ ನಾಮ ವರಾನನೇ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ರಾಮ ರಾಮೇತಿ ರಮೇ ರಾಮೇ ಮನೋರಮೇ ಸಹಸ್ರನಾಮ ತತ್ತುಲ್ಯಂ ರಾಮ ನಾಮ ವರಾನನೇ ಪರಿತ್ರಾಣಾಯ ಸಾಧೂನಾಂ ವಿನಾಶಾಯ ಚ ದುಷ್ಕೃತಾಂ ಧರ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥಾಪನಾಥಾಯ ಸಂಭವಾಮಿ ಯುಗೇ ಯುಗೇ ಆರ್ತಾ ವಿಷಣ್ಣ ಶಿಥಿಲಾಶ್ಚ ಭೀತ ಘೋರೇಶು ಚ ವ್ಯಾಧಿಷು ವರ್ತಮಾನ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತ್ಯ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಶಬ್ದ ಮಾತ್ರ ವಿಮುಕ್ತ ದುಃಖ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಭವಂತು ಕಾಯೇ ನವಾಚ ಮನಸೇಂದ್ರಿಯೈರ್ವಾ ಬುದ್ಧಿಯಾತ್ಮನ ವಾ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಸ್ವಭಾವತ್ ಕರೋಮಿ ಯದ್ಯತ್ ಸಕಲಂ ಪರಸ್ಮೈ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಏತಿ ಸಮರ್ಪಯಾಮಿ It happened to me on June, uh, January 1st, 2009. I was in Baroda. This incident uh, has really touched me. I hope it touches you. On New Year's Day, I was there and there is a great uh, um, cardiac surgeon in Baroda called as Shailesh Mehta. He is a very famous heart specialist. Uh, you, you cannot get an appointment with him for at least a month before. You have to apply, uh, approach him one month before to get an appointment. He has got doctors in Ahmedabad, Baroda and Rajkot. hundreds of doctors are there the junior doctors examine keep a report and only if dr mehta has to see he will see otherwise there is no need he is a very personal friend of mine when i was in baroda on 1st january evening we were sitting in the corridors of the hotel waiting for the dinner and the old he is about 69 year old man sitting before me and narrating an incident he said doctor you know recently an incident happened it has changed me believe me he is not an emotional man he cuts at least 10 hearts every day physically uh, he was standing in the incident he said on 27th of december uh, uh, no before that 21st of december a couple walked into his office with a small child of 6 year old a girl and the file was given to doctor junior doctors had made and made a report and the child's heart has a problem speak a senior seasoned doctor moment he looked at the file he could make out case is bad total clogging nothing can be done about it he explained it to the parents and said sir i am very sorry situation is quite bad there are only two options now one is make the child undergo operation immediately immediately is already quite late but i should remind you should warn you that the success rate is only 30% that means even if i operate the child the child may die on the operation table 70% 30% she may succeed but if you don't make her undergo operation she will not survive beyond 3 months is come to that stage what will you do what can the parents do they cried their heart out they said sir we'll take the chance sir. we pray god that the 30% will help us bless us and our child will survive please do the operation immediately the child was admitted to the hospital date was fixed 6 days before the operation child was admitted to a ward for preparations and earlier tests and all that mother stayed with the child this is an important incident for me the mother stayed with the child to accompany the child and every day evening mother would have prayers and make the child say prayers she would put vibhuti on the child's forehead and say pray god pray god god will help you god will bless you the child believed it and now the operation day came please visualize it sterilized operation theater and all the doctors were there dr shailesh mehta entered at the end is wearing his green sterilized coat and cap and mask and gloves he came inside everything was ready he saw the 6 year old on the operation table somewhere it pinched him we don't know the child is alive now but by the end of the operation child may not survive success rate is very small he just patted just to encourage the child patted on back and said don't worry child you'll be all right the child looked up and said i am not worried doctor but i have a question to ask question what question do you have the child said 
Doctor, everybody is telling me that I have to undergo open heart surgery. Open heart surgery. Does it mean that you open my heart completely? The doctor did not know how to respond. He just said, "Don't worry, child. You will never see the pain. You will not know the pain. I'll give you medicine for it. Don't worry." So I am not worried, doctor. Again, my question still remains. What is the question? Do you open my heart completely? Because my mother keeps telling me every day that God resides in the heart. God resides in the heart. When you open my heart, kindly see whether there is God inside. If he is there, watch him. And when I am all right, tell me how he looks like. This man was totally baffled. He did not know how to respond. He said, "Okay, okay, okay." The operation started. Forty-five minutes into operation, not even a drop of blood was coming into the heart. The heart lung machine was on, and slowly the uh, pulse rate started coming down. The BP came down, and doctor said it is the end of it. Child cannot survive. It just cannot survive. And told his junior doctor, "Come on, switch it up, switch it up, and that's over. Close it. Child would not survive. Sorry, we could not save the child." As he was saying, suddenly child's words came into his mind, started hitting him. The child had asked, "When you open the heart, please see whether God is there." Dr Mehta as he was sharing this with me I get emotional when I start sharing that sitting in front of me he was crying like a child he was saying you know I have done so many operation for last 40 years or 45 years my hands were soaked in blood suddenly child's words came to my mind I just folded my hand there and said god all my knowledge all my skills as a doctor has come to a not now I cannot save this child and child and her mother everybody believes that you are in the heart if you are there only you save the child it is beyond me now he became so emotional he was crying he told his nurse next come on take out my spectacle i can't see anything nurse pulled out his spectacle he wiped his tears at that time the doctor next to him elbowed him and said doctor blood is coming into the heart now doctor uh, Dr Mehta told me I don't believe in miracles some physical phenomena must have happened immediately I put my glasses and said come on put the lung machine on don't stop it push push it on and put the uh, heart machine on and then he started operating for next 4 and a half hours operation was done operation was successful and then he told me the child's heart is absolutely clean now I cleaned all the arteries child will survive at least 60 years now no problem I was so feeling so happy and he told me but still i have one worry now when the child is all right when i go to see her she would ask me a question did you see god how is he what will i tell her i told him please tell the child don't make an effort to see god god is not seen but god is experienced we all experience god we may not see god tell the child experience god do you know this incident has changed dr mehta He has put a photograph of God in the operation theater. Earlier he was so confident of his skills and knowledge. Now before every operation he goes and stands before the photograph and says, "I am a small man. Whatever knowledge and skills I have tried, but I need your blessings." At the age of 69, Dr. Mehta said, "I became cultured now. I became cultured now, and this child made me cultured." How did this child get this idea? of thinking god resides in the heart because the mother said so why i am saying is parents and teachers are such a tremendous responsibility not just simply saying children are going away from culture you can't stand like an umpire and declare verdict say boy is out no you should see that he does not get out as teachers and parents it is our job to see that culture is followed in our country in our actions